I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch Hey Lifer Tribe, welcome to another vlog Living life with your girls today so we are headed to Sam's Club. And then, oh, babe, you didn't even bring the stuff you needed to bring as far as FedEx and all that, huh? Mm -hmm. You want to circle back around and get that stuff? No, I'll just get it. Come back. Just run the flush. I want to get it now. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So we're out running some errands, doing some things. Um, have a semi-busy week today. Um, your girl's gonna be releasing another book soon, so I have been working on that. And um, we have a couple of projects going with The Hallway Life. Our online couples course is about to be launched. So yeah, we got a lot going on. So just trying to get some food in the house because like I told y'all in the last vlog, um, we were raggedy when we got back from vacation and just not eating right <laughs> or doing what we needed to do. So we are back on track. So um, we got to get some healthy food in the house so that we can make some healthy choices and not just run for whatever is convenient. So yeah, headed to Sam's Club now, running a couple of other errands. And you know, I will be taking y'all with me every step of the way. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. We are so happy to have you here. And if you could just consider hitting that subscribe button because we would love to have you as a permanent part of the Lifer Tribe. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. me or have you ever come to the grocery store and we have like no food at home really but I just can't even think of what to buy and they say you shouldn't come to the grocery store hungry and I'm hungry I haven't eaten anything today but it's like I'm just tired of food it's so weird it's just a huge to do all the time what are we gonna eat especially when you're trying to eat healthy and you don't want to be bored with what you eat. And I'm at Sam's Club for Pete's sake. There's nine million different options at Sam's Club, but I don't know. I'm just tired of food. <laughs> it, it's stressful trying to figure out what you're gonna eat. So I just wanted to know, am I alone in that? Cause this is driving me crazy. It's like, I'm just ready to leave and we just don't get anything, but we gotta eat. And I'm walking around and nothing is really I don't know. Nothing is jumping out at me. Oh well. I guess I gotta get something.
So I'm here at PetSmart, had to pick up Lux's heartworm medication because he needs that every month and you have to come pick it up once a month. They don't give you like a year supply or anything because I guess it goes by weight. But Lux has not been gaining a lot of weight. Um, you know, he's a little puppy. I don't think he's going to get much bigger because their max weight is like 15 pounds and he's at 10. So I think that's going to be it. But Lux had a birthday while we were on vacation. So I need to get him something, a little cupcake. So let me ask this young lady here. Excuse me. Do y'all have like little birthday cake things for puppies? The only thing you have like that is I mean, like the actual treat for them yeah. to eat. Okay, I just yeah. wanted to make sure. Um, there we go. Oh, this I think is the only thing that we can have closer. Oh, to well, it. that's cute though, because yeah. this is usually we have my the little color. circular yeah. ones, but that's we haven't cute. gotten those in a while. No, this one's cute. Okay, you like yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. One? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. We got some. All right, y'all, so we are back from running errands. We're just going to do a quick little haul of the things I got from Sam's Club. Um, yeah, because that was really it. I stopped by Walmart just to get some sugar-free creamer, zero sugar, because it's only 15 calories. The only flavor they had was pumpkin, and I guess it is that time of year, even though it is still hot, hot here in Texas, but they didn't have my Italian cream. Um, but whatever, I'll get it another day. I don't dislike pumpkin so i got this from walmart that was it i got from walmart so from sam's all right so let me just put this out there right now i've come up with a whole new concept on what eating healthy and eating right is going to look like for team hall we are going to eat healthy we are going to do a lot better but we are not going to completely deprive ourselves of snacks and things like that. So what we are going to concentrate on is moderation along with healthy. So I'm still going to do 90% veggies like and stuff like that for our meals. But I got to be honest with y'all, late in the midnight hour, which is really like 9.30 for me, Sometimes I want a little something sweet, a little something salty. So I'm just putting that disclaimer out there. Well, why, why are you breaking it down and busting a move? Like he just was, well, I think he's excited because we got snacks. I don't know. But, um, huh? Oh, late in the midnight hour. <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there before I start doing my haul and y'all be like, oh, I thought she said she was eating healthy because again, over 90% of what I have is healthy, but we just made a decision as a unit, unit, as a family, as a team, in the middle of the good Sam's Club, that we gonna get a couple of snacks. So anyway, with that being said, here's what we got. <laughs> so I got some baby spinach, which I love to put in my eggs. I also mix this with my salad greens. You know, you can't go wrong with baby spinach. Um, this whole thing of baby spinach is really probably only three servings, but y'all know how spinach does. But, um, you know, it's good for your smoothies, whatever. Also, I got my organic spring mix, which we will be using for the salads. Got some of my little baby cucumbers. I got a lot of baby stuff. <laughs> baby cucumbers. We have our avocados, a great source of healthy fat. They fill you up. Got the sweet potatoes. Also good for you, better than white potatoes. Lemons, love this for my water, for my tea. Got some tilapia. I'm gonna try to do some like um, blackened or Cajun type of tilapia and put it on a salad. Um, but yeah, got the tilapia and got my Dots pretzels. Yeah, these have me in a chokehold right now. I found another one that was, cause these are not cheap. These are pretty expensive. This bag was $10, which is good. Cause the smaller bag in like Walmart is like $8. But Snyder's had one with the different seasonings, which was really good. And I kind of at first liked those a little better. Um, but they were too salty after eating a few. And you know, your girl got the pressure and I'm just not a, like, I don't like super salty. So I like savory, but not super salty. So anyway, got these. Didn't even know they had these at Sam's Club. I just kind of 
took a chance as we were about to leave. I was like, let me check and see if they have those pretzels. And they've probably always been there, but since I just, they just got on my radar, I never noticed. So got these. We got the Mio drink enhancers and we've gotten them from them a few times, but um, this cherry, black cherry is a different flavor because they usually put this, um, energy boost one in here that I'm not really a fan of because again I try to stay away from the caffeine but yeah got these and these are only like how much did you say this were like four dollars for yeah so that's really good for drink enhancers found these cute little outfits for the baby girls um puma outfits and it's so cute it's tights and a t-shirt so I got you know I can't get one without the other so got this for both of them got my little baby tomatoes i love these tomatoes i just love the colors and they don't really taste any different depending on the color but they just make your salad look pretty got these wallace got his honey nut cheerios because this is all he needs to do is lose weight start eating honey nut cheerios and he loses weight his almond milk got the chicken salad I, i've been telling y'all about this chicken salad i don't know if you've tried it yet but i do think and this is where i could tell i'm getting old Cause I'm saying old people stuff, but when we were um, getting this, I said to Wallace, I'm like, is that container getting smaller? And I don't remember what the weight was. So this is 32 ounce, two pounds. I don't know, but I just feel like this container is getting smaller because I've been buying this for years. Um, got a watermelon, which they don't have any watermelons at Walmart anymore. Where they used to have watermelons, now it's all pumpkins. So I don't need a pumpkin. Got my brown eggs. Got some sushi rolls, and they do make this fresh right there at Sam's Club. So this is probably what I will be eating today. Wallace picked up some ribeyes for himself, and we got a rotisserie chicken, which this is awesome because it's so versatile. Um, you can use it, put it in your salad. You can just use it as your protein with a meal. You can make a sandwich. So we got things that we can eat a couple of different ways because again i'm trying to do better it's just the two of us we don't need tons and tons of food in the house spoiling and going bad and then yes <laughs> we got some twinkies and ding dongs y'all there's this is a 32 count 16 of each 16 packs of each this was only nine dollars so um yeah so just when we get that little sugar craving um and that's the thing we're trying to like i said do better with um, our shopping and how much food we buy, trying to eliminate waste. And you may say, why shop at Sam's Club? But it's still more cost effective to shop at Sam's Club, but we just have to be more intentional about what we buy and how much we buy um, because you can't beat the price, right? It just, it makes sense. So I just have to be more intentional, not let my uh, vegetables go bad, freeze the meat like, you know, we don't need to keep these steaks in the refrigerator. So we'll probably freeze them individually. And that's something I have to get better about too, is when I do freeze stuff, freezing it individually. Because before when, you know, we had a big family at home, I would freeze stuff, but I would still freeze like all of it because I'd be cooking all of it. And I've been guilty of still doing that now. And we don't need that much. So I'm going to freeze the steaks individually, things like that. But yeah, so this is what we got. I'm looking around to see. And I showed y'all in the store in PetSmart where I got Lux's little birthday cookie. And then I stopped at the Dollar Tree, got him a little birthday hat and a balloon. So that'll be in this vlog. We're gonna sing happy birthday to baby Lux. He's one year old and um, celebrate his birthday. Thank goodness he doesn't know that his birthday is really on the 17th. I know, bad, 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 bad puppy mommy. But um, we got home on the 17th from the cruise and he was with my middle son. And y'all know, it was just the whole getting acclimated to being home. So yeah, I missed my puppy's birthday, but y'all better not tell him that this ain't really his birthday because we gonna have a, a puppy birthday party. So yeah. I am going to put all this stuff away. Um, I got some dishes to put away. I'm sure y'all see those over here drying. Um, and yeah, we're going to make it do what it do. I have my cohort tonight at 6 o'clock. So I'm excited about that. Um, have a couple of emails that I need to get out. 
a W9 to fill out because your girl is booked and busy. So um, one of my clients sent back their signed um, service agreement and their invoice. So everything's a go. So I got to fill out that W9 and get it back to them so I can get paid. That's very important. Um, yeah, so if anything else goes on today, I'll pick y'all up. But um, definitely, y'all got an invitation to Lux's birthday party. So, you know, RSVP. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I got a lot of nerve picking y'all up because I just pulled up to my 1.30 meeting and it's 1.37. But I had texted the person that I'm meeting with and let them know that I was running 10 minutes late. So I'm feeling like I really have like two more minutes, but that is so raggedy. But I had to pick y'all up because I haven't talked to you all day today. So <laughs> I had to pick y'all up. You know, y'all my girls, y'all my people. But um, having a great day today. I have been in back-to-back -back meetings since 7 o'clock this morning. And um, I was going to pick y'all up in between meetings because I had about an hour and a half break. But my um, life coaching client who does not pay me, which is my sister... Um, she has a huge project on the way y'all so stay tuned but yeah she don't pay me but she takes a lot of my time so I spent that time on yet another free coaching session with my sister so um, yeah so I didn't have time to pick y'all up but I'm over here at Black Coffee in Fort Worth on Vaughn so if you're in Fort Worth you need to come see my my girl Mia because they doing the thing over here at Black Coffee but I do have a meeting at 1 30 with one of the young ladies from my cohort so I am super excited about it um, but I just wanted to say hey so let's get in the coffee shop because the parking lot is packed so I'm nosy I want to know what's going on in the coffee shop so let's go see yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low-key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep Body on ten, make your girl OD, I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one, so what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep, is you riding on a team? Hey, life for tribe. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that's Wallace and the puppy in the backyard, I'm like... Why is my alarm going off? But anyway, hey, Life for Trap. Happy Saturday. So, all right, y'all. We got to have a conversation because things are going to be crazy in this vlog. Because when I first started this vlog with y'all, I did not realize that I was going to decide to take part in Vlogtober. And excuse my voice, it is... 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Um, I got up at about 6.15 and I'm showered. Clean, face done as far as my skincare, dressed, and now I'm finishing getting ready. So I know I sound like somebody's uncle. But anyway, <laughs> uh, when I started this vlog with you guys, the regular weekly vlog, I didn't realize I was going to be participating in Vlogtober. So, hopefully, you all have already seen my first couple of Vlogtober videos. But, with that being said, and I hope you've enjoyed them and liked and shared and all that. But, with that being said, it makes this one a little bit difficult, but I didn't want to scrap this one because we had already started and so this one is still going to come out tomorrow but it's going to be jumping around some of the things that you have seen in the vlogtober video does that make sense of course not of course it doesn't make sense like for instance <sighs> why is this button not bunning for me but like for instance right now i'm getting ready to go to the she said women's conference but I ain't taking y'all with me like y'all in this video <laughs> I'm not taking y'all with me because that's going to be the start of my third vlogtober video so you get it you're picking up what I'm putting down so I'm trying to be consistent with this one and take y'all along through the week as best I can without sacrificing the content 
for the daily vlogs for Vlogtober. And I know y'all are tired of looking at the top of my head, but I'm trying to get this bun right because it's a lot easier for me to put my makeup on once the bun is up. But these are coming out tomorrow. And they are raggedy, which raggedy has become one of my go-to words lately. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, it's just easier to put my makeup on once this is already up. And then it's easier to put these up or it's better for me to put these up towards the end of their lifespan. Because they just look better. They don't look so old and dusty and dried up when they're up. So, yeah. So, that's what we're doing. So, I'm getting ready for the conference now. Um, I'm excited about it. I think about five women from my cohort are going to be there. Um, I've only ever met one of them in person. And that was just recently. So, I just met with her um, this week for coffee. Um, the others I've only met on Zoom virtually. So it'll be nice to meet some people in person. Um, the She Said Conference is for women entrepreneurs. It's being held in Dallas. So, you know, I always tell y'all I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, because that's what everyone says. But, huh? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Um, but I live in Fort Worth, so, um, you know, the Metroplex is Dallas-Fort Worth, but I have about an hour drive. I checked it this morning when I first got up just to kind of get my bearings together as far as how much time I was going to have because I hate being late. I hate rushing, especially when I'm driving and I'm going somewhere I've never been, and it said that it was 56 minutes, so. I got a ride. And it's an all-day conference from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And hopefully y'all are paying attention to me doing this bun if you don't know how to do one. I know I've shared it before and it get ready with me. But it's super easy. Just keep wrapping the hair around. But sometimes it just doesn't want to co cooperate like in the very beginning. So I had to start over. But And then you see how it's a little loose over here. I don't mind that. Like I'm not... I don't know. I'm just not that particular. Like, I'm all for neat and presentable and all that. But I also kind of like a I woke up this way look. I don't need every hair in place, you know, fried, dyed, laid to the side, Easter Sunday type of look. So, anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm getting ready. The theme as far as the dress for the conference which that's another thing too i'll be glad when i kind of end this weekly vlog so i'll won't have to keep so much track of what did i say here what's wrong y'all hear the puppy whining he has allergies and he is just scratching and scratching and scratching did you give him his allergy medicine this morning oh well yeah so this weather here is crazy it's even affecting the puppies but yeah i won't have to remember what did i say in this vlog what did i say here you know we'll be on one page but um, anyway, the dress code was power suits and sneakers, but I don't have any suits. Like, I was a big suit girl in corporate America. I mean, and for years, I've been wearing suits. Like, that was my go-to. That's what made me feel like a businesswoman, a professional. So, I don't really do suits anymore. I gave them all away. And so, um, I just decided to do, like, some black ankle length slacks you know like skinny slacks my Louis Vuitton t-shirt a black blazer and my Louis Vuitton sneakers and that's a power suit to me and I think I was overthinking it in the beginning like I was ready to go to um Saks or Neiman's or somewhere and buy a power suit and I'm like why am I doing that because what are the chances that I'm going to ever call on this suit again especially while it's still in style you know especially if you're shopping at those kind of places spending all that money on something so yeah so I created my own power suit because this is how I feel powerful so yeah my skin is clean moisturized serumed up and I'm just gonna do light makeup this is my black light primer 
that I'm using. I love this stuff because it has a little bit of a tint to it. It's not like coverage, I guess, but I don't know. I like it because it doesn't leave that ashy look or anything that some primers can leave. It's not sticky. It's nice and smooth. So I've loved this primer. And I don't even know how I happened up on this. I really don't. Because it's one that I had for a little while before I really used it. But yeah, so that's what I'm using. I went to, which I don't think I talked to y'all yesterday at all. But yesterday, I went to the uh, state of the city. Like our mayor, Maddie Parker's... Uh, annual address type thing and it was really cool um i was able to see a lot of the movers and shakers around the city of fort worth um able to hang out with some of my friends in business went to a little well they had a vip reception afterwards so in the vip reception was hanging out with a few of my friends monique i know y'all seen her in several vlogs we did her birthday brunch not too long ago on here but um we were just kind of chatting during the vip and insert somehow we all ended up at papado afterwards so we chilled at papado we got there like around 2 30 but then we found out that Papado has brought back their happy hour. And they have a cool happy hour because it starts at 3. So um, it's like from 3 to 6. So it's a little different than some happy hours that are usually like 5 to 7. That type of thing like the after work vibe. Um, so it was nice. We sat there and their happy hour menu is really good. They had what they call catfish beignets. Which to me were more like catfish strips. I don't know why they call them beignets, but you know, it's like a Cajun type of Creole type of restaurant. Um, but I don't know what made them beignet-y. Like, I don't know what makes a beignet a beignet, except for I know it's like dough with the powdered sugar. But there was no dough, there was no powdered sugar, but they call You know why they call them catfish beignets, babe? Because Wallace got them. What made them beignets? I don't know. I guess because they look small. I don't know. Strips or something. I don't know what, like I said, I'm like, you know, I don't know what beignets stands for. But, yeah. Um, not a fan of regular beignets. Yeah, I'm not a fan of regular beignets either. Um, but these were good. They were catfish beignets. Yeah, they were good. But they had, so they had catfish beignets on there. They had um, a mini shrimp and grits, which I didn't get, but my friend Monique got. And I tasted the grits. And they were so good. They actually had corn in the grits and they were savory, but just like this hint of a, sweetness but not super sweet because i'm not a real savory and sweet person but it was just like just enough um and you could tell there was a little jalapeno in there um it was really good and the portion was nice it was mini but it came in a a dish like the same size dish as if you would get like an artichoke dip or um the crab dip and it looked like there were at least like five decent sized shrimps so that looked good um they had the boudin over rice, which oh, I got. Huh? They had yeah, they had calamari on there. The only complaint, if I even want to call it a complaint, about the, um, well, I guess I had two complaints about the boudin is, which I will fix both of these next time I go just by making a request. I just didn't know what to expect. But the boudin was not, like, crispy. Um... And I don't know how boudin is supposed to be or the preferred way to cook it. But when I make boudin in my first um, times having boudin, that skin had a little snap to it, a little crisp to it. This skin or casing, I guess you could say, was a little chewy. So when I first cut it and took my first bite, I was like, uh, so I just kind of squished the um, filling out for the rest of the time, which was really good. But they also just put it over a bed of regular 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 plain white rice which next time i'll ask for mine over dirty rice and i think the boudin was only like five dollars so i can see why they wasn't trying to do the most you get what you pay for <laughs> it still tasted good but i'd definitely be willing for the upcharge to get the dirty rice instead because i didn't really eat the rice at all because i try not to do rice but if i'm gonna do rice 
I want to do it right. I don't need just some regular minute rice. Um, and then, of course, I would just ask them to make my boudin. Just keep it on a little longer if that's not what they normally do. But what else did they have on that menu? The Hurricanes were on happy hour, so they had drink specials as well. I think the Hurricanes were like six bucks. They had some beers on there, um, wines on there. So, yeah, the happy hour was good. It was nice to see because they haven't had happy hour like a lot of places since before the height of the pandemic. And Wallace was telling me something about what he saw because I guess even with their happy hour, it hasn't always been every single location because I don't know Papado may just be individually owned like a franchise I'm not really sure I'm just saying what I'm saying but um thinking out loud <laughs> y'all know I learned my lesson on that but um <laughs> anyway they don't always have happy hour at all their locations even when some do and there was some kind of turn up in Georgia yeah Georgia you can't sell this kind of liquor so Georgia doesn't participate in happy hours period as far as liquor type things. Okay, so there were some ladies who were from somewhere else. Were they from here? Mm -hmm. So some ladies from here who went to a Papado in Georgia during happy hour time and I guess were ordering what they're used to ordering during happy hour and were shocked when they got their bill and everything was full price because they were used to happy hour. So they had to learn that there was no happy hour. There. So you, you always just want to ask anyway. You can't assume, I mean, unless you're going to your regular spot. Because things change like that. So even, because like I said, our Papado used to have happy hour all the time. But then they stopped. And now they're doing it again. So you want to ask. But yeah, we enjoyed it. I'm just trying to catch y'all up. So I know this vlog is going to be a little different. But because I'm doing Vlogtober, like I said, and I started this one. I'm just trying to catch y'all up to what... I did on the Vlogtober vlogs. But that was really it because I took y'all when we went to um, the Purple Frog. That was a part of this vlog. And yeah, we've been raggedy <laughs> again with our eating after all that healthy food shopping and stuff. But the invitations just We're keep coming. Are we ready for next week, babe? I don't even know if I want to say it anymore. <laughs> Because it's like, what we do need to be better at, if nothing else, is getting up and doing our walks and stuff. Because Wallace and I, we get a lot of invitations. And we, <laughs> if we're available, we don't turn down too many. And then when you're accepting these invitations and you're going, you want to have a good time. You know, I'm not making an excuse. I'm just telling you that's what it is for me. Now, back in the day... In 2018, when I was training for the marathon, that was different. It didn't matter where anybody invited me to, what was available, what we were eating, who was cooking. I wasn't partaking. But that's because that was not just about weight loss. I was training for a marathon. And how dumb would it be to be training for a marathon and going to run all those miles and be sluggish? And, you know what I mean? Just because you couldn't turn down some sweet potato pie. Like that was different. I had to do that or I would have been doing myself, my body, my trainer a huge disservice. So I was much more disciplined, which, you know, I can do it. I have a good willpower. So whenever I don't do it, I realize I ain't that serious right now. I'd rather be doing what I'm doing. However, I'm not saying that to put it out there and act like, yeah, I'm not going to try to be on this healthy journey. I'm just being honest with y'all. Because it's still my intention. And I'm going to do better. But since I take y'all with me so often and share so much, I'm just going to keep it. Keep it 100. So, all right, y'all. Well, let me finish getting ready. It's 7.55. I really wanted to leave the house by 8 o'clock. I'm not going to pressure myself about being there right on time. And that's something I'm learning too and getting better at. It is always good to be on time. I'm never going to say it isn't. However, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be on time. And there's a lot of circumstances where I'm the only one who's on time. 
And so then I get frustrated because I'm waiting around and there's other things I could have been doing. Um, if nothing else, I could have saved myself some anxiety and stress by taking my time like everybody else does. And so that's one of the situations in life where I'm going to say, if you can't beat them, join them. And just like knowing there are certain events or certain people, certain groups where I know there's a chance that they're going to be late. Now, if I have a business meeting, things like that, of course, I'm going to be on time. But I'm talking about more social type of events. I mean, even if they are business, like for instance, yesterday, we went to the state of the city. It's the mayor's event, the mayor's address. It says it starts at 11. Now we did get there way earlier than I really anticipated because I think, you know, once we got dressed, we were done. Um, we kind of left because our day started much earlier. So we just kind of left and went without really paying attention to the time. So we got there like 20 minutes early. So of course, I'm not mad about that. We got there 20 minutes early, but you know, Wallace and I are always going to find something to do, sit down, talk. So it wasn't a big deal. But the thing is, when it was supposed to start at 11, the doors still weren't open. They still weren't ready. So we didn't get in there until like 11.15. Then you get in there at 11.15 and you're thinking, oh, they're going to start. Now it's all this networking. At 11.30, she comes on and makes the announcement and says, um, the program will be getting started in 30 minutes. Well, now it's noon. And I'm like, you know what? Why am I... And it was supposed to be over at 1, didn't end up being over until like 20 after 1. Um, so stuff like that. And I figured the same for the conference. There's going to be people, like the conference starts at 9. Huh? Yeah, like we were responsible for the feed. They went over. Oh, I know. I was so frustrated yesterday. <laughs> I know. I was so frustrated. Because I'm a stickler for time. And I'm like, it's supposed to be over at 1. Why are they still talking? Yeah, like I was going to have to pay the extra for the room. But, um. Like I'm assuming when I go to this conference this morning, there's probably going to be people who didn't um, register ahead of time. Um, like yesterday, I know there were people, we were one of them where, for whatever reason, they didn't have Wallace's name on the list. So then they have to go get somebody else. And I clearly had the invitation that we were sent that had Wallace's name on there. And um, she saw that and I had RSVP'd, including Wallace. Uh, and the funny thing is there were 10 to the table. There were only 10 on our list for the table. So there was room for Wallace, but somehow, you know, whoever was making the list, his name just didn't transfer from one to the other. But I just say that to say there's going to be stuff and things don't always start on time. So I have to quit putting that pressure on myself. And then the thing is also the person whom I live with, he doesn't put that kind of pressure on himself. He's just kind of like, we're going to be fine. So it starts for me at home because I'm getting frustrated with him because I'm like, we got to go. We got to go. And he's always like, babe, it's going to be fine. Nobody's going to be there. We're not going to miss anything. You know, this stuff doesn't start. So I'm stressing from here. And I've just learned, again, if you can't beat them, join them. And, you know, I can't lie. He's right. Like, I don't even remember a time where we were running late and we got somewhere. And I'm sure maybe, you know, we've been late before and. We were obviously late, but not often. Most of the time, are late, we still there before everybody else. So, I am not going to put that kind of pressure on myself. And especially a day like today where I don't even know where I'm going. I've never been there before. I'm going by myself. I need to take my time, pay attention. I hope the parking situation is good or I will turn around and come back home. Now, that's where I draw the line. What I ain't going to do. <laughs> Not funny, but what I ain't gonna do. No, it's that. Oops, that's my alarm to leave. Um, it's at Comerica HQ, so I guess Comerica headquarters. Yeah, so when you look it up online, it says closed today, but I'm sure they have it, you know, rent it out for whatever. And I'm assuming because of that, they should have their own parking lot too. Because that's something about me. I don't like driving anymore. I used to love driving, but I'm not really big on it anymore. I don't like looking for places. I don't like not knowing. I mean, that's just the kind of stuff that happens when you get 
older. There's just some stuff, you know, you just don't have the patience for anymore. You're like, I don't got to do this. But I will come because I know everything can't be at my house because that's my preference. I'm telling you, like, what is a conference? Let's have it at my house. <laughs> what you banquet? Let's have it at my house because then I don't have to have any of that stress. But, um, but if I get there and I got to search for parking or figure out parking or I got to read a bunch of signs to know whether it's okay to park, girl, I will be back home so quick. Take a picture of proof. Hey, I was there, <laughs> but I couldn't find parking because my thing is if parking is crazy, you need to have valet and I'm not being bougie. I'm not whatever. This is speaking from a chick who threw a 50th birthday party for her husband at our house. But we live in a neighborhood and we have our driveway and like, you know, a parking space right in front of our house, of course. But we don't own the street. However, I don't like seeing the street with cars just all up and down the street and people have to walk. So I... Hired a valet service and rented out the high school parking lot because I didn't want people to have to deal with it. So one thing about me, I'm going to practice what I preach. I'm not going to say stuff and then I'm having events and having people having to search for parking and, you know, risking getting their vehicles towed. So if you didn't know, you can hire valet for your private events, even in a residential area, you just have to be able to secure an area where, um, you know, it's close enough where you can get a big enough parking lot to do it. And so luckily we live almost directly across the street from a high school and it was on a Saturday, his party and in an evening. And I called, I did what I had to do. It was not super expensive. It was an easy process. And we run at that parking lot. But anyway, y'all. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. This is all the face is going to be given today. My blush, I don't know why it's not really showing up. But whatever. I'm getting in the car. I'll probably talk to y'all when I get back because I'm going to do Vlogtober in the car. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here